Hello and welcome to Wealthy Money TV. With me today is Wolfgang Riede. We're going to be talking about business mentoring. He's actually my mentor. That's why I'm asking him to come here and do the show because I've seen what a shift mentoring has done for my business. So Wolfgang is well, I'll actually just let him explain what he does. Wolfgang, please tell people what you do for a <laughs> Actually, a bit of everything. I think the, the definition of entrepreneur would be it. I started my career as an entertainer, got well known, reached my dreams. And there's a wonderful saying that goes, when you're younger, you're a go-getter. And when you're older, you become a go-giver. So I shifted towards inspirational speaking. I've got a, best, well, a lot of books out, also a best-selling book. And today, uh, I have fun in life. <laughs> so, look at what do you think is a business mentor? Yeah, a business mentor, I speak at so many big companies and, yeah. and I, when I see what goes on, I believe a lot of executives need a business mentor <laughs> because you get caught in a bubble and they don't think yes. out of the bubble and even I, as someone that tells people to think out of the box, we all get caught up in our own little worlds yes. and you do need an outsider with experience Yes. To come and just give you a few guiding tips, not to tell you what to do, yes. but just guidance and make you see things from a different angle. So especially yes. in the business world, it's a you know it's very important to have just that objective person that has insight to help. Yes, for me, I've seen what mentoring has done for me because, like you said, it's that guidance. I mean, you're right. You're so shy now. You're so outgoing. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I come with, seriously, I really do need someone to often say, uh, okay, maybe hold up on that idea and go with this one before doing that one. And even for basic things, like literally saying, how do I respond to this email? How do I approach certain business opportunities that I've been given? And just having that advice of someone saying, you know, maybe this isn't the right thing for you. But how else do you see, why else do you think startup entrepreneurs in particular, more than even people in the business world would, in the corporate space, would need a mentor? To be polite with the answer is difficult. And I don't mean to be unpolite in, 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 a, in a way to certain people, but an entrepreneur is a lonely career choice and you're on your own. The normal 9 to 5 government employee on a fixed salary is not going to think like the person that wants to take a gap themselves. And I mean yes. this sincerely and, and, and without yes. being funny. So here you are, every day you've got a new idea and you are oh, like this the whole time. And most of the friends that we all have are in that space. Yes. So now they get information from them or feedback, it's very frustrating because yes. they look at you if you're weird, what you're smoking, what you on, etc. So you actually need someone that is an entrepreneur, that has become successful themselves, that's gone through all the pitfalls, that can look at you and go, ah, yeah, I can relate to that, and you shouldn't do that because this is going to happen, but maybe try this idea, what you, ah, I never thought of that, good, and build up like that. So you need a person of a fellow mindset that is successful to help guide you. Why do you think that is in particular important? Because I know some people, one of the things that I had to ditch immediately when I started doing my own thing as an entrepreneur was this idea of I can do it by myself. <laughs> Why do people need to let go of that mentality that I can be the hero, I can do it by myself? Yeah, and, and, and unless you really, <laughs> unless you win the lottery, which is highly unlikely, and unless you've got really, you, you, win, you win whatever's, whoever's got talent, yes. uh, you ain't going to do it on yourself. But even if you do something like it, you need a team behind you. Yes. Uh, doing it on your own is very frustrating. You're going to do the mistakes which other people have done. And to me, that's idiotic. Why go through all the mistakes? Get someone else to guide me and help me so I can just save time. Because my priorities, I want to be successful. How can I get there the fastest? Have the right team around me that can guide me accordingly. So learn from other people's mistakes. There we go. That's <laughs> right. So how can people find mentors? How, uh, what yeah. do you suggest people do? I think that that's a very, very important question. And mm -hmm. I think the way you find a mentor is, who do you look up to? Uh, look, I would love to have Warren Buffett as a mentor, but <laughs> I'm really just being unrealistic. Uh, in, in where I live in my area, who is somebody that 
is got a similar interest for me, and I see as successful, yeah. and I see as approachable that I can actually connect with and talk to and approach that person. Mm -hmm. And what should a mentee, such as myself, what do you advise them to look for in a mentor? You, uh, you know what? Somebody that's been there and done it. You get, unfortunately, your days well, you get too many people offering advice, but they've got, they haven't actually achieved anything themselves. Yes. Uh, Getting, I'm going to be careful how I answer this, but uh, <laughs> something that's really, that can walk their talk, yes. that can prove I've done it, here it is, then there's more authenticity to being yes. a mentor to someone. And as a mentee, you know, you got, everybody's going to give you advice. It's, when you want to invest, mm -hmm. oh, well, my brother actually did this, you get 3,000, around a barbecue, you get 3,000 different pieces of advice, none of them are actually pertinent to you. So you need to yeah. find somebody that you can really look up to, relate to, and that is authentic and genuine, and that also will be honest with you mm. yeah, and give you constructive criticism. Because it's not nice to hear things when, when they, you know, if you don't, I, I, I think I can do this and then you're going to get a negative, but then give, give you decent reasons, say, well, because I went through it, yes. this is what happened, so, yeah, be objective. Oh, no, I, uh, I get a lot of the constructive criticism from Wolfgang, where he's like, no, that is not going to work, this has to change, I'm like, oh, no, but it's really valuable. I think the constructive criticism for me is really important, and also, the person shouldn't just be a downer. Because the one thing that I appreciate about having you as a mentor is that you're always very, if something is good, you always say it's good. So I know when something is bad and you say, that's not gonna fly, it has to be redone, scrap everything, because there are some things where you just say, scrap it, scrap it, start from scratch. And I know that it comes from a place where the advice is solid. Because when it's good advice, it's often you always say, this is good. When something is good, you say it's good. I don't think I get as excited as you do about it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yes. So I really think that's important, having someone that's authentic. But also, I see the benefits of getting mentored as I'm getting the mentoring. What are the benefits to the mentor to mentoring someone else? You can never be old to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's nice to see the energy and the passion in, as you said, the mentee. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, because you get somebody, uh, for me, the, the bonus is, I can see I'm changing someone's life, I'm helping someone to reach their dreams, yes. and also I'm learning, because we have got, between you and me, there's a generation gap. Yes. Now, I'm trying to think that I'm here, but my daughters will never agree, that, <laughs> that I am on par and up to date with things, but the things that your generation see completely differently to mine. Yes. So in that process, I'm actually also learning from you. And I think that's very important. Never be that naive that you think you know everything. And you've already sparked off a lot of things with me as well. So yes. that's the benefit for me. Wow. Thank you very much. Wolfgang, do you have any last tips for anyone looking for a mentor as to the things that they need to consider that I haven't um, yeah. Look for someone that's genuine and authentic, not for someone that's going to try and milk your drive of, of everything, but someone that has got time for you when you do need them, mm -hmm. and that's really going to give you decent advice. Yeah. And remember, I want to leave you with a thought, a great saying that I did. One of the past chairmen of the Federal Communications Commission in the state said this, his name was Minow, and he said, the problem with today's society is that we all have rights, but no one has responsibilities. Oh. As an entrepreneur, be responsible for yourself. Wow, wow, thank you very much Wolfgang, for, allow, oh, for doing this to begin with, but also how can people get hold of you, what's your YouTube channel if someone wants to check out your stuff? Inspiring the world, it's over here now, and uh, <laughs> WolfgangReber.com and you can get hold of me. Yeah, so you have all Wolfgang's contact details and please subscribe to the Wealthy Money TV videos here on YouTube. And also subscribe to the Wealthy Money website and you'll get many more such tips and other things that are going on in terms of personal finance events that we'll be doing. Have a fantastic day. Bye.